Generator we design for generating mist. So when you apply it, you install this one, simple pushing. And later when you apply, you can adjust the angle by rotating to see which angle will generate proper mist for yourself. And uh, this is a holder designed for you to hold uh, with your stand. You can adjust the angle uh, based on your sample location. Here you need a uh, gas. You take down this one. If you cannot find a suitable tube, you can call us. I will give you a tube, flexible tube. Flexible tube. You enter this one first. Enter this one to tube first. Then put, put the tube here. Rotate this one to tie the tube. Maximum pressure is 0 0.2 uh, megabar pascal. Flow rate, you can control it about 10 milliliter. Uh, per minute, use a flow meter if you have. Suppose you should have a flow meter, right, yeah. to control the flow. Then how much the mist generate out and uh, how strong the mist generate will depend on both on your pressure and uh, flow rate control. Okay. So your liquid is a, a dependent parameter controlled by your gas provided. So another can control your flow rate of liquid is tube size. But recently, I have only one size of tube. This can provide a, a flow rate of two to six milliliter per minute. Follow the flow rate you are provided. So during use, uh, at the beginning for trial test, you can use water, soaking this inside the water, give a, a fixed pressure, for example, 0 0.15 or maximum 0 0.2, adjust the flow rate to generate a, a constant mist. Then you check about which flow rate is the best for your to generate your target mist. When the mist comes, you observe how the mist distribute, and you confirm an angle for your old project application. After finished use, you can wash it, but you must wash it once you finish your apply, otherwise your chemical will be uh, coming to deposit out on the surface. So this, during wash, you can take this one out and flush it by water, or you can do it in here, use your washing solution, let it pass through by the gas carrying, then rinse by your ethanol acetone, whatever your mm -hmm. compounds be dissolved. Then you can make sure all the compounds inside being carefully carry out and no residue inside. And this is made of glass, so hydrofluoride acid cannot be applied. Besides that, all things can be applied. If this tube cannot afford your chemicals, you can replace the intercoolant tube.